learning about the work that we did with the New Zealand America's Cup team is probably similar to a lot of my clients who are executives in their businesses, but like me, um, we're not born with an iPhone in our hands, or far from it. And concepts of advanced analytics and AI uh, and really fundamentals around data and insight generation has been something we've had to learn as adults. Um, and adults who are in roles where not only learn it, but apply it back to the business pretty quickly. And so you look at something like the work we did with the simulator and the sailing team in New Zealand and you think, you know, how can I take concepts of reinforcement learning and sort of this cutting edge sport and apply that to helping retail consumer businesses do better work and make better decisions. And I do think there's an application for it and it's called inspiration. You know, watching elite athletes, most of us have watched them our whole lives and been inspired about what's possible, you know, inspiration about what's possible with advanced analytics and then pulling that inspiration back into the business to say, what are we faced with? We've got lots of customer data. How do we actually use that as an asset and get ahead of our customers and predict what they might like next or predict what they might do next such that we can better serve them? But even that is daunting. And so having, using inspiration to say, actually, we can push through that. We can actually tackle some really tough problems with data and analytics and do it differently than we have for the last 10 or 20 years. So let's lean into it. Let's build new capabilities. It takes inspiration for that. So I think that for me is the big lesson with what we see at the America's Cup and the work that we did. It's really about inspiration.